All right, so this video is going to go over um, log functions. So on this one, we're going to focus, let me make sure my camera, I probably should have made sure it was on the right spot before, but um, on this video, we're going to focus on tr changing a log from um, log form to exponent form and vice versa, like kind of going between the two. And so that's like our big focus for this section and um, and solving some log equations where you only have one log in them. I don't think we go to two logs till the next section, but log functions. First of all, log form is y equals log base a of, or of x and obviously a x and y are numbers but this is a log form exponent form so you can change between these is going to be a to the y power equals x and so logs allow us to solve for things where x um, is your exponent because we can change it into log form and then follow these specific rules. So log functions help us solve things like if I put a thousand dollars in the bank right now, how long will it take me to get to a million dollars at five percent? Or um, so we will see a lot of financial equations with logs and then of course you'll see a bunch of made up ones that make you think about how it works. But we will go between these two formulas um, going between log form and exponent form. So let's look at a couple, um, well, I want to look at a couple kind of different ones real, f well, maybe I'll do the little convert first. All uh, right, we're going to convert to exponent form. So here's my first example. What if I have log base one third to the three equals negative one. How can I convert that to exponent form? Well, let's see here. Our base or our, um, it's not our base. Well, it becomes our base, right? It's our uh, root of our log. I couldn't think of that word. So when we go to convert this, it becomes one third is your a and it has to go to the power of what it equals so one third goes to the power of negative one and that has to equal three so that's how you can evaluate it so if I look at one third to the negative one power the negative one will flip it so it becomes three over one to the first power and that is the same thing as three so this is like a true statement but the focus really is converting it. So a lot of times when you convert them, they just put letters in there just to make you do that uh, letter stuff. What if I had x to the fourth power equals y and I want to convert to log form? Okay, so the x, right, the exponent is going to become the base on the log. So we have our log and we're so we're going to have base of x. And what it equaled, right, but what it equaled was what our log was of, so it's going to equal y. Um, so we're going to have our y here, and our exponent was what it equaled on the other side. Right? Exponent to what it equals on the other side, so that's 4. So that's log base x of y equals 4. Let's do another one like that. So those ones are a little tricky, but what if I have 10 to the third equals a, th a thousand? All right, so how can I convert this to log form? All right, these are my arrows, by the way. My arrow, that doesn't look like a very good arrow. Whoop, whoop. Um, all right, so then we have our log, and it, the power again is your base, so we have log of 10, and then the thousand will go here equals three. So that's converting between the two. I find this math the way harder than this way, but I mean, it's each person their own, but so let's look at a couple <clears throat> little bit weird ones. What if I have log of X, X equals one. What am I really saying when I say I have log base X of X equals one? Well, let's convert it and look at it. We would say we have X to the first power equals X. 
So we're saying x to the first power equals x. Is that like a true statement? Yeah. And so um, that one's kind of weird, but if these two are the same, then that has to equal 1. So if you have anything where it equals 1, maybe that number's 2, you know, that one better be 2, 2, or it's going to not work out. Uh, another one is um, if I have log of, it doesn't matter, 1 equals 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1, and this is kind of the idea of it, because if, if I look, if I have x to the 0 power, that has to equal 1, so x to the 0 equals 1. So if your log ever equals 0, well, it, the, first of all, that would have to be a 1, and it, you'd ha I mean, you have to be careful of that one, so that one, it has to be something to the 0 power equals 1 um, in order for that one to, to work. Um, another thing. Thing. This is like change of base kind of idea. I, I want to bring it about now um, as we start to do logs, but it'll be more in the next section. But if we have log base x, well, it'd help if you could see that. It, um, if you have log base x to, of y, um, I can actually write that as log of y over log of x. It's one of like the rules I'm allowed to do. And in this section, I don't know that we really need it. They introduced it, but I, I honestly think this is more going to be in our next section. But let's look at a couple equations that use the converting log idea. This is my seventh example. So what if, so this is just solving some equations with this. What if I have log base 27, 3 equals x? And it asks, well, what does x have to equal? So on this type of problem where I have one log in it, because we're going to get to ones that have two logs and three logs, and that's different. If I have one log, my goal is to change it to exponent form and then solve. So I would go 27 to the x power equals 3. And we did something similar in the last section. I really want these both to have the same base. So I'm going to rewrite 27 as 3 to the third. So I would have 3 to the third, and you times it by the x that was already up there, equals 3. And then remember, if it's just 3, think of it as to the first um, power. And then you set your powers equal to each other and solve for x by dividing, and you get a third. So some of you might have been able to come up with the third way up here, because remember the third is like taking the third root, or the half is like taking the square root. Those are the, the exponent of one third is the same as taking the square or third root. So a lot of you might have thought, well, the third root of 27 would give me three. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you need to walk through the process. All right, so what if I had log base x to the 125 equals negative 3? Um, so if I had something like this, again, I'm saying x to the 1, uh, negative 3 power equals 125. So on this one, um, I, you almost have to think through this one. A little bit different but this is my thought process this is 5 to the third so I'm going to think of it as 5 to the third power and I go well okay so it's 5 to the third but I need something to the negative third power so that they're equal powers so if I change this to be a negative it would make it one-fifth it would change your numerators and your denominators. So this becomes negative third. Now if what to the negative third would equal one-fifth to the negative third. So you made the exponents match. Different logic than the other one. The other one you made the bases matched and set the, the exponents equal to each other. Whereas this one I'm thinking well if the exponents are the same then the bases have to be the same. So sometimes you're solving where the, the x is in the um, exponent and you have to set it up more of the exponents equal to each other with the same base. If your your base is where your x or your number or letter that you're looking for is, then you have to set it up to where you have the same exponent so you can see the answer. So the answer is one-fifth on this one. 
One thing to be aware of as well as you're doing these is on your calculator you do have a log button. Um, if it's super fancy it will do some of the log um, simplifications and things for you. But know that log on the calculator is base 10. Um, you can't use base 3 on the calculator. There's ways around that but we haven't learned it yet. So let me do one more uh, problem like this. So this is my ninth example. What if I have log base 6 of the square root of 216 equals x? Okay, so log base 6 of 216, uh, square root of 216 equals x. So let's change it. Okay, so it's going to become uh, 6 to the x is equal to the square root of 216. So this is one where again the variable is in that in that exponent place. So I need both the bases to be the same. Well, this is a little harder, but remember the the square root is the same as one half. So let's let's start there. 216 to the one half power is the same as a square root. And you have to really start to understand that um, conversion there um, from the last couple chapters. Then we know 216 is actually 6 to the third. If you didn't know that, then play with 6 times 6 times 6 and try to get the same base. Usually they're going to line up. So this is 6 to the x. This is going to become 6 to the third times the 1 half, right, which will reduce to um, 3 halves, right, 3 times so I really am going to have three halves as my answer because you already have the same base set the exponents equal to each other. All right, and you remember the times when you're up there. Let's see if I had, oh, I guess I'll do one more example of graphing one because you do need the calculator. I want to make sure we understand the graph. The, so if we look at a graph of a function with a log, Let's just start with log base 3 of x. All we're going to do is plug in numbers just like we always do until we have enough that form the graph. The graph is kind of similar to the exponents, the uh, exponential equation graphs that we've been doing. But you're going to need your a calculator of some type that has the log key. So for this example, let's put in some values. Well, I guess I don't have to have the... It's, it, you could do it two ways. We can look at this converted. This would be the same as, think of this as y, so 3 um, to the y power equals x. Okay, so that might be how you want to think of it, because um, base 3. I just went, oh yeah, because I don't want to show you. Um, uh, there's a change of base kind of formula that I always use, and I forget that if you haven't learned it, that's kind of like um, tricky, but let's do it this way. Let's put in values of y first and get out our x value because 3 to the y power is x. So let's put in something like, oh, 0. What is 3 to the 0 power equal? Well, it, anything to the 0 is 1. So that point is almost always on our graph um, of a lot of our logs unless it's been transformed up or down or rotated. Well, rotating doesn't change that, but um, the 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 add more numbers you add, the different and more different it'll be. So let's do like a one. Three to the first power is three. Let's do a two. Two to the or three to the second power is nine. And let's do a negative. Negative one. Three to the negative one, remember that's gonna change it to be one third. Now let's look at what that graph would look like. Okay, so we have 1, 0, uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, oops, I did my 1, 0 wrong, uh, 1, 0, just because I was trying to make slashes, oh well, uh, 3, 1 is going to be here, and then 9, 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, it's about here, and then one third, which is barely over, is all the way down at one. And if you had like um, negative two, you would have put in there, it would have been one ninth, so that's even like closer. But that will continue to form fractions, so it's one of those asymptotes where it gets really, really close to that line, but it never is going to cross. Let's see here, and that is what our graph looks like. Okay, so there's our log graph. Any of them, convert them and then um, probably do the, 
the points that way um, with the, the logic or the, the knowledge you have so far for logs. Okay, all right, so that's the end of the lecture for section 10.3 for some of you and just logs in general for others.